Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jisso Do I Am playing Final Fantasy XIV. Last episode we finished off all the quests in Curthus, in Central Curthus in any case. And today we're going to begin the final area that requires quest cleaning up, just normal side quests in any case. Still a couple of special ones, like, you know, all of these. Um, however, before we do any of these, I'm first going to finish the normal quests. Alright. That's gonna move on then. I'm not sure how many of the normal quests even are over here though. Right. Hello, Staffborn. Greetings then. You've come at just the right time. A visitor is waiting for you in the workshop. A friend of Sid, it seems. Realizing your preoccupation pre preoccupation with other matters of import, I suggest she waits uh, I suggest she wait at the seventh heaven until you arrive. But she refuses to leave. I fear you have a very brash client on your hands, friend. Are you ready to go inside? Fear waiting will only make her more irritable. Not, thank you for that. Thank you for flashing my camera, lady. Right. Hello, Jesse. So, you're Mr. Dare, eh? Took you long enough. Name's Jesse, Deputy President of Garland Ironworks. Don't look too impressed now. In truth, I'm nothing more than an engineer. But thanks to you filling Master Garland's head with, uh, with them damn fools ideas of heroism and saving the realm, there's no one else around to fill his golden breaches. You've been busting our collective arses on these orders from Highwind Skyways and are still only scraping by. The real problem is, with Master Garland gone, but the productivity dropped like the knickers on a, on a stone's throat trumpet, trumpet, Jesus. The company will be, in deep, uh, will be in deep if something ain't done. And that's why I'm here. Sure, our machinists may have, uh, may have their fair share of chrono chronometers and plasma lamps, but we need something grand, something that'll have clients on their knees literally begging us to take all their sparkling gill. I want you to show me the magic armor you borrowed from our friends, uh, from our friends the Guardians. Yes, yes, I know all about your little foray into the Praetorium. You can thank Pix and Wedge for that. I reckon there's a lot we can learn from that Reaper. And after all you've done to distract Mr. Garland, I'd say you owe us that much and more. Nod. And... okay. <laughs> this is amazing! Do you even know what you have here? Listen to that ceruleum engine. I've never heard anything so sweet. And a servo, a servo mechanism should be... Wait, a mammoth core? Why didn't I think of that? It's so easy to come by. Mass production would be would be as easy as stealing candy from a baby. Or of course from a mammoth. But what in the seven bloody hells have you done to the cannon's poor convergence modulator? Burnt it out firing victory rounds after slaying some family of rabbit squirrels, no doubt. It's a wonder the whole suit isn't a steaming pile of molten slag. Such a waste. What in the builder's name are you looking at? You need something to fix your prying eyes on. Try the wall. Any road, I can't bear to see such a fine piece of work in such a sorry state. I'll patch her up as best I can. But you'll need to gather the parts needed for the job. Think of it as one of them adventurers uh, you seem so keen on. Uh, one of those adventurers you seem so keen on. Whatever. A make 49 Magitek Converter and uh, and a make 50 Magitek Oscillator should do the trick. Oh, and a Magitek Cannon Barrel. Make her 51. I can't guarantee she'll be good as new, but at the very least she'll be in a better shape than she's in now. Which still ain't saying much. Eyes on me, Lin. I ain't done with you yet. That is, unless you know whereabouts one might stumble across a spare converter, oscillator and cannon barrel. Cannon barrel. No? Didn't think so. So here's a hint. It rhymes with Castrum Sentry. You see? Guardian made te uh, technology is what we're after. And I can't think of a better place to find some. Off it you now. <laughs> Oh boy. Quite the person we have found. Alright, uh, let's go and just get in the next quest, I guess. Hello. Crazy about crystals. The crystal tower is more than my chosen field. It is a passion that a structure of such magnitude could appear overnight on the heels of the calamity. In the five years since, its mysteries have resisted my, pac uh, my patient courtship. What? Anyway. Uh, but I will wear down its modesty, or my name is not in the pie to Yun. You know of the crystallized plane to the west of Reverend's Toll, do you not? All my research uh, to date points to an important discovery to be made in that, glistering, in that glittering expanse. Likely the key to the tower itself, and yet... And yet I am unjustly barred from a closer look at the crystals by, by Nixus. Now you understand, do you not? They must die, those Nixes. I will not suffer them to keep me from penetrating the secrets of the tower. Uh, 
that are dirt and ashes. There's a ruined camp to the west here. You know the place? What I do is recover what I can from the site and bring it back here. The gill's good and the work is plentiful, but I'm feeling a bit done in, to tell the truth. I could use a little help if you're looking for some honest work. Use this sledgehammer to break the locks on the gates and bring back a few of the boxes inside. Say, three. Right. Crystal informations, yes. Oh no! With rhythmic thumpings. Alright, buddy, sure. Pull me towards your side, and then. Your other frog buddy is gonna then use lap on me. Well. There we go. Forgotten crate. Simple such hammer. Boop. Uses for wait uses for a simple such hammer, one hundred and seventy two. Destroying locks on wooden boxes. <laughs> okay. More. Hit those boxes. Destroy them. There we go. Technic magic technical difficulties. I only just noticed that quest name. Mm. Oh my god! Not again! And this time there's three froggies. I also like how they both use sticky tongue on me at the same time. Which actually just pulled me in the middle, which is kind of funny. Right. Only level 39, huh? So that would be about a lot, a lot higher level, honestly. Uh, well, these quests are usually... I think these quests are like the highest ones that you can get. Uh, well, you know, from normal side quests. Alright. Excusez-moi. So, um... I must need to look for materials. Not materials, materials. Please don't turn around. Nice hit. See ya. Later. Um, there we go. There should be a thing around here then somewhere too. At least I would think so. Hmm. Maybe in here? Oh no, I can't go in here, okay. Ah, okay. He's like, yeah, everything's fine over here. Doesn't know it is the literal sh ninja stealing your supplies. Later! I'm just gonna teleport because I'm too lazy to fly back. <laughs> what? Slathborn. Yes. Let me guess, you've lost. No, broken, no, traded for magical beans, the parts we need. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Developed in the 49th year of the first Guardian Emperor's reign, this me mechanical device transforms raw ethereal energies into a more stable form. Developed in the 50th year, this mechanical device emits signals by generating waves in the ether. Um, this cylindrical tube is perfectly calibrated to ensure almost no deviation in projectile trajectory. Well, colored me mildly impressed. I was half expecting the worst and got, well, less than the worst. Don't get all giddy on me now. You're still not off the hook from stealing away Master Garland. 
But I'll admit it, I'm beginning to see why he might feel the need to latch himself onto an adventure like he might a stray pup. Alright, let's see if I can salvage this mess of a masterpiece. Phew, I think that's it. Both Magitek and Photon Cannons should be function functional. That said, I'm no guardian. There's no third eye hidden up under these lovely locks. And there's a great deal I don't know about their machina. I can't guarantee the cannons won't misfire, but then again, misfire is better than no fire, eh? Even so, I wouldn't recommend using the weapon weaponry in actual battle. Speaking of fire, it's high time I got back to the ironworks. Patching up those cannons has given me a few ideas. You take good care of that armor, or you'll have to hurry have me to answer to Lin. Okay. Your magic armors, uh, your magic armors, magitech and photon cannons are now operational. They can be accessed via the pet hotbar. bar. So basically, now if you use that mount, you can fire your cannons just for fancies. That's it. Purely cosmetical stuff. But still, you know, kind of cool. You already slew the Nixus? It's been barely after. It's barely... After all, I'm still quite flushed from my outbursts earlier. They were dead, yet my rage had cooled. Well, that's quite lovely. They had it coming, those hoppers. The Crystal Tower is still foremost in my mind, but adventurers may bear some studying too. Perhaps as a side project? This will be more of an experimental research. I shall find you a blood pack to sign. Uh... Goodbye. Hello. You find the crates? Good, good. Let's see what you have found inside. I ought to be ashamed of myself for hiring another to do my own job. But there's no co uh, cozening myself. Makes me heart sore to go there. The calamity made it thus. In case you didn't already know, that was Camp Revenant's Toll. A hub for adventurers. Many a merry day and night I spent there. It was my abode at the crossroads. Never paid much mind to the name of these parts until the calamity, but... Revenant's Toll. Uh, wait, I never paid much mind to the name... Of these parts until the calamity, but Revenant stole. Whatever, not exactly lucky sort of name. I wish to the twelve that they had changed it to somehow or to something else when they built this new camp. It worries me, is all. Going there and sorting through the mess. Sometimes I come across something I know well and I. Uh, it weighs on my heart. Don't get me wrong, there's more to these parts than just nasty and sad mem memories. I was on a mud puppy run uh, myself before I took the salvage job, and now I aim to reap twice as many livers. What's it for? Physicking for the old touch trap, of course. Mud puppy liver fetches a very pretty price on the market. As pretty as the petticoats, that's, uh, that's the cost of the demand, I'll wager. Here, how about you give me a little hand? I'm still a little done in. It'll be, it'll be, the, it'll be worth the guilt to have someone else helping me. You can fetch five livers, can't you? Da, 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 da. Off we go. Well, at least, you know, some fair skies, which you don't get that much in... in Mordona. So the place looks a little bit better. <laughs> if still absolutely destroyed, but... Eh. Also, hello. V for Vendetta. I'm going to go into this, because I'm going to be fighting a couple of these boys. I'm also going to do this to get my mudras back. There we go. Rappy boo boo Playing the postman. Oh, trust me, we'll get to that at a later point. Hello. I'd like the fox fence. Free leechings, leechings every day of the year. But you got the livers, didn't you? 
but pay. Priced by Beastman, uh, by Beastman Witch Doctors for its supposed ability to increase virility. What? There's the slimy gold, nicely cut. Here she go. You didn't try to eat the mud puppies, did you? Don't. Poisoned or muddy. Those are the only flavors. Do they work? Oh, lassie, everything works. And nothing's good enough for them that's that's got the kind of guilt to spend on such things. How many quests do you have, Jesus? Ever gone a few paces east? It's not much to look at, but there's there are pieces from the Guardian wreck. Wreck for the taking. Rust held together with a prayer most of the time. But now and then, there's a nice plate of an airship. Time was adventurous, sadly doubt driven stole, thinking the Guardian's uh, Guardian salvage made them rich. Sort of disappointment they were. Tom Fred at the bakery. Was what he was one. Came for the Magitech, stayed for the Marsupon, I tell him. But now that hardly anyone bothers, there's steady pickings. Go on, give it a try. I'll pay you top kill if you can find eight good bits. If you find something likely, go to Wandering Breeze over at St. Connex Find and ask him what the stuff's worth. He knows his Guardian Relics, that one. Touch the airship. Hmm. There's a part down there. Are there even going to be eight pieces in this thing? Apparently there are. <laughs> or maybe only five and then there'll be eight on another location. Nope. There's... There are eight pieces to be found on this thing. One of them is maybe underneath this? Oh god. Help. <laughs> I need some body. Help. Not just anybody. Help. Uh, can I go in here? No. No, I cannot. Cannot go in here either. Don't forget that a lot of these quests are like, in any case, in a realm reborn, you do not have flight. So any place that you can reach with flight should normally not have a quest thing to it. Because you cannot reach it normally. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, oops. <laughs> you know, another airship over here. Whoopsie. Let's see. Uh, that's already out of range. And there's two pieces to this. And then it's going to bring us to St. Connex Find. Well, I guess I can do the quest over here. Now I'm thinking about it. Why not? Hello. Ah, another adventurous soul. Welcome to St. Cornex Find. I'm Kletai, of the Adventurers Guild. It is my responsibility as leave mate to recruit hard-working, industrious men and women to fulfill the guild's many contracts. Be advised that these contracts can be quite demanding, and we cannot afford to assign work to the unqualified. Many of my levies would require you to travel from the safety of this encampment. The creatures which roam Mordona are not to be trifled with, and I have no desire, desire <laughs> to send you to your doom. Therefore, <laughs> I will evaluate you on your base, uh, on your ability to complete a battlecraft levy. Oh, and you should know that I was selected for this post due to my military experience. Do not expect your trial to be an easy one. Now, fuck Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, 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 yes. Except, I should remind you that the client explicitly requested live specimens. It is essential that you do not slay the Nixus. Once you have sufficiently weakened your quarry, cease your attacks and attempt to soothe it. However, you must take care when attempting to do so. For if the attempt fails, the beast may be driven to a frenzy for a time. Right. We're going to talk to Wandering Breeze. Good day to you. Is there something you require? You want to know what these are? Well, well. There is, there is still meat left to pick off of the bone. This is made of Kermit, a guardian alloy. 
greater resistance, some might say impervious to cannon fire, and beyond our capacity to create. If we could produce our own, there would be Kermit pouring out of every metal works in every city. Or mayhap, if we knew what metals uh, sired this alloy, we could use the knowledge in other ways. Are you not wanting uh, uh, wanting us to study these then? Just information. Ah, uh, let me guess. Guelgaim, here are the pieces back, and tell her again that the sons are not here to provide free appraisals. I have here a message from an expedition to the south. They are troubled by Gygas, and fear an attack must soon come. Head south forthwith if you would help us. The sons of St. Koinak uh, draw together the finest minds in the Yorze in order to bend their combined strength upon the Allegan question. With such a lofty mission come certain sacrifices. We all have left our homes, our, our friends and our families to be here. You see, many a sob has been stifled in this camp, I am sure. Some of us will be here for months, others for years. We know not what we are, uh, what we shall find, or when. <laughs> we do not know what we are now. Uh, until then, there are the letters, full of news from home. We can take these letters to the sons. Hardly a task for an adventurer, but it will give you an opportunity to see uh, to see the camp and speak with some of our party. You are the adventurer Lin, are you not? Several of our surveyors have been wounded by hippogriffs in the crystallized area to the north. It is astonishing how fleet and fierce they are in this region. Uh, yet we must teach them to flee, not charge. When the sons of Saint Cornac are about their scholarly business, I suggest you call a few more, a few of the hippogriffs, that they might learn this lesson. Jesus, you have so many quests. Uh, maybe I should just grab these, whatever. You are Lin. I am called Krinsota. It is, uh, is it true that adventures are bound to secrecy whenever they undertake a commission? Excellent. You see, I'm here for a reason of my own, the Lesser Moon Dalamut. The others may borrow ever uh, may burrow ever deeper in the ground, but I look to the sky. Five years ago, Dalamut flushed like the face of an old king, most, uh, most a wrath before its swelling bulk fell to the earth. I am consumed by the desire to know more. One of the, sag one of the fragments of the Baleful Satellite landed in the Singeing Shards. And there I took myself and have been exca excavating ever since, until an elder Hapolit came and seized the precious artifact. Lin, I must have it back. It means everything. I must slay this hated Hapolit, that is hated Hapolit, and return the fragments to me. You know what? You must. Sorry. I know its weakness well enough uh, from that most dismal encounter. Here is a pepper bomb to use on a fell creature. It was only by f uh, by flinging a basket of the same peppers in its face that I escaped with my life. Okay. Oh boy. Of errand epistles. We will do this as the last one <laughs> in this entire area. You will see why. Because it's going to unlock some crazy shit. That's gonna unlock just. Oh boy. A lot. Hello. An adventure. You come to the main camp. We feared the, uh, the message would not reach you in time. The harassment by the Gigas grows daily and... Ah! Oh my god! Overpower. You're dead. Phew, that was a close call. Thanks to Zayma, you were about... Uh, you were about. Well, I better return to my work. History never waits. Let's see. A letter from home. Thank you, adventure. Oh, we were at uh, at the front history together. What does she want? She's to be wet. How nice. Wh what? Wait, she's not worth two of him. The great galumping oaf. Ah, oh, that'll never last. <laughs> There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Dum, 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 dum. Right. Stony sun. A letter, that's the first. I would, I would, uh, wait. 
I would that it, that this is no ill ill news. That's why. From the pater, surely the matter is not ill again. Hmm, quite the contrary. She should go from her dropsy and demanding her, uh, I return home. You fucking piece of trash. <laughs> let me have my work. Or let me have my fun or whatever. I don't know. There we go. All right, again. Yes. Ugh. Right, she's the recovered from her dropsy and demanding I return home and give her grandchildren. <laughs> Nothing can be praised. A letter from Gordania. Must be from, must be from my wife. Uh, all well and prospering. She says that. She's that. She says that. What? She writes that she has taught our daughter to say "Papa" home soon. She can talk, and I missed her few of her first words. But it has only been three moons since I last uh, since I saw them last. Alright. That's a huge bitch. See ya. Alright. Let me go over to Mordona. Uh, Mordona, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let me go to Revenant Stall for a sec. So I can, uh... Go and maybe finish up this quest line? I'm lucky. That would be nice. Hello. Well, is it to be Magitek or Marsipan? Did you find anything good? Well, well, lassie, all Guardian Kermit, huh? Now we'll fetch something high, something high, white, and handsome from a trader. What? They can't change the tide of war? Your problem, Les, is that, is that you think too much. These are worth a good bit of gill, and the only tide you should worry about is the, is the tide of ale you can summon with your share of it. But you're right about something. I should learn more about these uh, about these oil alloys so I don't have to go to the suns, hat in hand. Here, that's your share. Remember what I said about the ale. If I find more of these current pieces, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to pay, uh, to pay back Wandering Breeze what I owe in a couple of moons. There we go. That's finally done. Also, uh, yeah, the, the guild of isn't isn't even on my map because I've gotten other things. It's like, where's this guild live at? Your invitation proceeds here, Lin. So the Gygas are here. The rest should keep their distance for now. The Gygas were a par were part of a tribe from uh, Abelth Abelthius Spine, uprooted by the Calamity. We seek knowledge under the ground. Uh, under the ground, they seek a new home upon that ground. A fray cannot be avoided. Bro. Why you, why you have some more quests? Thank you, Lin. Even a vexing letter serves the noble purpose, uh, purpose of keeping the sons more to their lives, you see. I have known other digs where uh, where we lost all sense of the world beyond beyond the day's gr grid. Jeez. The sons of Saint Koinek claim their genesis their genesis in Charlian, the shining city of learning. We are all races and clans, united by our passion for the truth about the about the ancient elegant civilization. The anthro an an anthropi anthropogeographer Rambrose is the leader of this endeavor. If you have a mind to stay a while, it might behoove you to speak with him sooner rather than later. You have another quest. Ah, our protector returns. Thank you for performing your duties with such speed. You'll be able to plan a survey first thing on the morrow. These ruins of ancient Alec represent entire branches of lost knowledge. It was, uh, it was the Alegans who built the Crystal Tower. Or so the best theories say. If that is the case, could these ruins not be the remains of a village? Nay, a town for workers and their families? Does it halt the record of their lives, spent erecting the shining edifices that beguile us today? <laughs> That beguiles us today, my god. All research on the tower is at a standstill. They are stimulated by its perfection. But here we may learn something else. At least that is what we hope. 
Lynn, how fortunate to have you here. One of the researchers excavator, uh, excavating the lakeside has stumbled down a hole. He remains there still and has wounds that still need tending, and his team traveled quite light. Uh, but his team traveled quite light. They lacked the necessary supplies for, for his rescue. Will you take this length of rope to the lakeside for the rescue? After that, you must hasten to Revenant's Toll and tell Kakamehi to dispatch medicines hit thither. We are already much in your debt, Lin. If not in guild and in spirit. But may I impose on you one last time? Holier than thou. It would seem our trouble with the, uh, the Geigers outlives the troublemakers themselves. The creatures stole uh, some research documents, of all things. We may have underestimated them. Why would they steal such a thing? What hidden aspect do they have? We must know more of their ways. Such observation is out of the question. We must collect artifacts. Thaliax's razor di dictates that we go straight to the, straight to the court to, to the court to the source. Gaius, your task is to slay four of them and collect anything of interest upon their persons. Then did you retrieve it? Have you the fragment? A small piece of black and metal that may be from the outer shielding of the now fallen satellite Dalamut. Ah, my precious specimen. There's much to learn, but see you this earth-shaking discovery of mine? The fragment is made of no material known to Eorzea, save for that which has been unearthed in those elegant ruins. What if the element was a, th was a thing man made, created by the sons and daughters of Alec, then cast into the sky? This is a powerful piece of evidence I hold again in my hand. First the Crystal Tower, now Dalamut. That a civilization could exist capable of such creations makes my calculations shiver and all jadedness shrivel. Ah, it is a good time to be alive, Lin. Thank you for all you have done. Okay. And now I need to go and kill some Gigasus. Gigas, Gigas, tomato, tomato. Right. You apparently take a little bit more than I wanted you to take. Get boom! Keep running around. <laughs> That's what a DPS does. Never stand still. Keep running. Running away from your duties as DPS. And go for the parsing. Right. Well, parsing is, you know, I guess some duty. Uh, unless if you don't go, like, too bonkers about it. Hello, thank the 12 you're here. He fell right down this hole. Thinks he broke a leg. Uh, we have to get him out before he passes out again. The pain seems to be bad. Have you any rope? Yes. Good and stout. Right. I can fish him out by myself here. But once he's out, he'll need some true physicking. Go on to Revenant's stall and tell him to send po uh, tell them to send potions. Buckets of them. Buckets of potions. That's interesting. Right. A toad less taken. That's an interesting name. And I like it. Initiate. Initiate soul extraction. Right, I need to soothe these things. Slash, soothe. Pacify it. Uh, it's only winter nixes that I need to pacify. And the rest can just die in the hole. Right, soothe. Now he's agitated. Cool. You're gonna kill this boy. Now let's try again. Bro. I will give you one more chance. Or thou wilt perish. There we go. Okay, and there's one more of them. Let me go into this and answer. No, okay. Looks like I will have to beat you within an inch of your life. Sir. Yes, please. Actually, no, what am I doing? Fuck. <laughs> well. Based on the reports from the local Lev Watches, I am more than satisfied with your qualifications. The clients was most pleased as well, and would like you to have this. If you, if ever you want for more gift lefts, you need only ask. 
We all look forward to your return. What? I guess I may as well just go ahead and talk to Wandering Brace. Ah, you return, and I see you have not been idle. Did you find anything of note? What's this piece of crystal? I don't understand why you would... Oh, they're all carved to some degree. Interesting. They each, have, they each have a certain statuesque quality to them. This one in particular is recognizable. It is crude, but this likeness is of the Crystal Tower. I cannot see a Gigas taking the time to, say, to shape such a thing solely for amusement. Ah, I'd almost forgotten, but there was a report two months ago from another party molested by Gigas. Too. They too encountered such a crystal. And from their studies of it, they made out two words. Holy place. The Gigas may venerate the Crystal Tower. This may explain their migration following the calamity as well. Then, will you observe the Gigas from a place well hid after placing it, uh, this likeness in plain sight? We naturalists lack the, the necessary training to risk such an observation. But I have every confidence you will remain undetected. You know, being a ninja and all. Bick is beautiful, or rather baleful. Mm, okay. So now I gotta deal with Kronos. Alright, the wandering breeze. You observed them, but I would not give to have been there. What manner of things did you see? After smoothing out the, crumpet, uh, the crumpled piece of parchment, you are able to discern a list of findings scrawled upon it. This is from the documents reported uh, lost to the Gigas. We had thought it had been uh, carried off, off Pelmel, but you say one who looked to the chief among them had it. He tore a sketch of the Crystal Tower from the records and kept it as a precious thing. We must conclude that the tower is indeed holy to them. Gigas have been known to lead other giant kind, for they, uh, for they have the cleverness for it. Yeah. If they can lead, they can create an army. They can worship, they can start a crusade. Or so history tells us. These are matters we must be mindful of. Thank you, Lin. Uh, th for risking much for this knowledge. Cool. Let's go and get this quest, and then move to uh, Mordona. Alright, uh, Mordona. Fuck, to Revenstall. Hello. Seven hells are just bloody furballs blind. Skarnfrisk sin, not Skarnfrisk win. It's with clear as day. Um, pardon me. The Mogul meant no harm, I'm sure, but this marks the third time this past fortnight I found myself in possession of a delivery intended for another. I did not expect all Mogos to be well versed in Rogadin naming conventions, but they are unsure. Uh, but when they are unsure of the intended recipient, could they at least have the courtesy to ask before dumping it off and flirting away unseen? Look closely here. This missive is clearly marked for my brother, Risflo, Scarfrisk Sin. He makes his home in Limsa, and serves on guard duty at the Octant more often than not. I have a mind to send this letter right back, uh, right back where it came from, but my confidence in those furballs wears thin. I put my trust in them, and uh, then, and I'd not be surprised to see the letter end up in the hands of Hilfir himself. Perhaps you could deliver this letter to Risflo the next time your travels take you to Limsa, and tell him that though his sister would never think of reading his mail, she thinks he could do much better for himself than some vapid tavern wench. <laughs> okay. That was, uh... <laughs> not gonna lie, I did not expect that. Also, I'm gonna fill in my glasses soda for a second, because my throat needs some stuff. And then we're gonna go and, uh... Finish off this quest in Revenant's Tale. And then we're gonna go and do... One of our first... I think... Oh, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna do this, like, long line of quests? I think I'm first going to unlock these dungeons, because that seems like a more fun thing to do, really. Oh, there's pff, there's a normal quest in here. Long time no see, then. They keeping you busy at St. Connick's find? Ah, an accident, eh? Not in the physics, sure, sure. I'll get, I'll get what's needed to the sense. You look like you ran all the way. Go send, uh, send those souls, you've earned a rest. And then you have another quest. Son of a fucking... I speak for the confraternity of venturers who call Revenant Stall home. Take heed, Lin. We have a common foe, a hated enemy, a fierce adversary, and his name is Morbol. Sister Lin, you hate this enemy. Does your heart yearn to slay it? Then do so, sister. Go and slay three. This is a rite of passage, Sister Lin. 
If you are to be part of Revenant's Toll, we must know. Do you ring true? Lynn, right? I hear you get around. I'm an adventure myself. The name's Kakamehi. Hey, we can't all have an interesting name like yours. Look, I can cut you in, some, in on something fair if you're interested. There's a camp set up east of here by an outfit called Sons of St. Kornak. Scholarly times, you know, studying the, what do you call it, Elegonoim Empire? It's apparently some sort of ancient civilization. Talk to a fellow named Nazil Dizil. There and he'll have something for you. Good folks, Sam. Tell him I sent you. Okay, so... I, I, hmm, I, am I gonna unlock, like, more quests now over here? Jesus Christ, help. Me thinking I was done. Ha! Got him. Ugh. Not gonna lie to like doing the quest is one thing, but then like... Just like all of the reading I have to do... It fucking destroys my voice. Alright. My kind of. My mad adventure, any comrade of Kama Kaka Kakamehi is certain to be of great help to us. You are interested in helping, I trust. We sons of Saint Koinak have our fair share uh, have our share of troubles of late, and your assistance would be most welcome. I think you will find it an equally rewarding enterprise. <laughs> yeah, I I think I did things in the wrong order. <laughs> eh. Whatever. And now we need to go and pass the smell test. Ba, ba, ba. Dungeon, the keeper of the lake. All right. Nice and cozy inside, as it should be. It's time for some morbid murder. Hear ye, hear all, the morbles are slain, and Lin has passed the first test of Revan's Toll, Ventures. What, you don't think? <laughs> you didn't think it would be just... It would just be one test, did you? The next trial is by combat. Face our nemesis, the enemy to sing our Threnody, the foe to tag our big toe. See where you are, uh, uh, where I place the mark on your map? Return alive, sister. But I do kind of want to just talk to these people to see, though, because these are all, like, multiple... Uh, yeah, you see all of these? These are all dungeons, by the way. Just, you know, be fucking prepared. Because there's going to be a part where we're going to do a... Crap ton of dungeons in a row. Which is, you know, I don't mind. Hello, buddy. Marble girl. There we go. And the fearsome Mor Morbulger falls to the newest brave of the Revenant's Tall Adventures Guild, Lynn. <laughs> Lynn, welcome to the Confederacy, sister. 
Sissy, how'd you kill that thing? That marble girl was something else. They say it started off as an escaped pet. Guess that's what you call... Uh, th that's what you get when spoiled rotten means red in tooth and claw. That thing's doing more adventures with its charnel breath than the whole... Than the whole... Than a whole parade of gigas. Not that I wanted you dead exactly, you understand? But folks have been known to not to come back. Well, that's all in the past. Hey, Sister Lynn. You're one of the reference to all adventures now. Death to marbles. <laughs> what the fuck is this dude? Oh, God. Sister, can you spare s some mare's tail roots? I have none on account of those young cadgers from the Black Shroud, I told them. The rudel. Uh, uh, Jesus. I told them the rudel. The root teal settle that belly of yours. And the next thing, I've given them all I have. You don't have any either. You don't have any either? Why, every adventurer working in these parts ought to carry some, uh, carry some with them. A poultice of mare's tail keeps wounds from festering. And you look a festering sort of lass, if I ever saw one. Can you... I'm going to cut you. Uh, since we're both short... Is that a is that a tall joke? <laughs> How about you go and get us some? Eight roots should do, I'd say. Bro, can you stop sending me to the marble hell? Christ. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. <laughs> There is a suspicious stone over here. Let's hope that I stay out of range from these marbles. Not particularly in the mood to fight one of them. However, that dude is probably gonna... You know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna... Oh, no, he's turning around. Okay, good. this before the marble gets to me uh now i think about it, i cannot ah oh, fucking time to die then marble ass boop it's not like dinosaurs when i die all right there we go and now please for the love of god stop Stop it. Get some help. There you are, sister. Got what we need. Let's find the right root of a mare's tail, an aquatic plant that you, that earns earns it earns its name its name from its un, from its what else happening with me? Uncanny resemblance to a chocobo tail. One, two, seven and eight. Now they'll need to be prepared. And seeing as how we're both are you fair certain? What? Since we're both, are you fair certain? You want one when that fe uh, when that festering starts. Well, if you say so. I'll keep a lot and much appreciated the kindness. Or much appreciated kindness. Can you please? I want no. Sister adventurer, hear me. <laughs> I need me a sample of catalytic ectoplasm, but I'm not having much luck. It's no great shakes, mind you. First, you go to Rathfrost, sell yourself some plasmoids, then collect three samples of cataclysmic plasma. That was a large uh, crystallized tree with it. With that, wait a spell, and the bark will start crackling. From the lightning that surges in the plasma. After that, it's like gardening on a gubo. The ectoplasm comes scampering over without a care in the world. Hit that right quick, and you've got yourself some ec some cata catalytic ectoplasm. Why do I want you to get it? Come now, sister. Let's not go prying into the unmentionable drawer. All in good time. All in good time. I fucking hate this dude already. It's also just because, like, this this dude constantly makes me go back and forth. Which is the worst kind of side quest stuff. Like, there's one thing between, like, getting a bunch of side quests or getting a bunch of objectives in, like, all different areas or whatever. And then being able to return to the hub and finish them all in one go. Instead of being like, okay, time for you to go to that area, get me something, then go back, and then go back to the area to get me something else, and then bring it back again. That's, that right there is annoying. Annoying gameplay design. 
But I guess nobody's like, you know, forced to do this, so... But still, I still feel like you can have some quality side quests too. It just, it only adds to the game, really. What in fucking... Oh, pfft. It's like, who the fuck is this? Let's go and use this. Oh, I need to use it on these three different points. Okay. Hmm. Why do I feel like that person is going to die if I don't help them out? Well, I'm not 100% sure, though. Hmm. They seem like they are... Hmm. Are you fine? <laughs> it's poor, you know, I think... I'll see. If his, if his HP goes under a certain amount, I'll go and help. The thing is, I kind of want people to just experience certain things on their own. Without needing the, uh... Needing the help of somebody else. You know, I think he's gonna be able to do it. I feel like I should, like, put some epic music on this. Hmm. Nah, whatever. I'll just go and blast him with some lightning. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, target is part of another player's duty. You cannot do that. Wow. <laughs> wait, so look at that. That's cool. Didn't even think about that. I've never seen that before. <laughs> that's also because I usually don't... I only help if people, like, if I see if I see people really struggling, that's usually when I help. Otherwise, I feel like... Like, if I, if I notice that people are about to die or something, that's usually when I help. Caught a little shocker. That's what I call an adventure. You're a fearless one, sister. Alright, buddy. Are you fucking done now? Ow! Swiping sons of... Seven elves for seven brothers. That hurts like I'm troll marrying my daughter. What? Ah. Now you see why I was one was not too keen on getting the bugger myself. I don't know what it is, but I always end up getting shocked. Maybe I'm lightning aspected or straight lightning disrespected even. Just my luck that I can't keep that I can't keep getting commissions from these learned types. And about half of them and half of the rest are studying lightning. I should give up adventuring and be an agent at this rate. Yeah, you should give up adventuring because you don't do anything. Right. Anyway, my friends. Alright, I'm gonna finish off this. And then that's gonna be the end. <sighs> oh. Time for a stretch. Uh. Oh, jeez. Fuck. <laughs> Something got cramps. My leg. <gasps> my leg. Alright. Uh, let's go and finish off this quest. Or, well, unlock a... Really long strang a string of quests. Strang? Stand up. Strang. The strang. Well, if it ain't, what's your face? I remember when you were just another wide eyed whelp fresh up of the boat. Reckoned the city would eat your life, but I'm glad to see you've proven me wrong. A letter for me, delivered to my sister of all people. Well, isn't that just bloody brilliant? Perhaps next time. Those bloody furballs could just forward all of my personal correspondence to the Admiral herself. I dare say the consequences would be less dire. A hundred, a hundred, no, a hundred thousand ex apologies, my good sir. I am most profusely, profoundly sorry for the terrible inconvenience I have caused. You may, uh, you may rest assured that the of uh, offending Mughal has been flogged several times with a large harbor herring as due punishment for his negligence. Kupo wow, wow. You have my word. That we delivery moguls shall redouble, re triple even, our efforts to ensure that no precious parcel or missive ever again goes astray. Behold, for I shall now perform for you the mogul dance of, in, uh, of inimitable integrity. Settle your wings, my mogul friend. I don't believe that will be necessary. And by that I mean, for the love of the gods, just don't. What a bleeding. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I to believe I'm talking to a mogul in the flesh? Well, if this isn't a rare, if this isn't a rare occasion, or. <laughs> And Limelion, take me if you aren't a cute little bugger. Just moments ago, I'd have a mind to wring the incompetent courier's necks. 
But I'm not so petty a man as to vent my frustrations on a defensive ball of, ball of fur. Besides, I can hold, uh, how can I hold against you? What with the popu uh, population to realm burgeoning of late? I'd be lying if I said uh, if I, I said myself if I said I myself didn't have trouble keeping names and faces straight. And wrote, "What's the face here was kind enough to deliver my letter, and I have your word that no more mistakes will be made. As far as I'm concerned, this is all water under the bridge." Oh, you are too kind, the kindest, good sir. As for you, my adventuring friend, I dare say you would make a superlative de delivery aura if you put your mind to it. Delivering to far-flung lands, rekindling old friendships and cultivating new ones, staying abreast of the latest happenings in the realm. Why, if there's a more fulfilling career to be had, I know uh, I know not of it. So, what say you, Koopa? You want to be a delivery aura, Koopa? Now that's the spirit and recognition of your efforts on behalf of our friend Richflow. I hereby weave this stringent screening a screening examination typically administered to those who will join our ranks. Welcome aboard. I am the deputy post mogul in charge of tutelage and training. In other words, your superior. As such, you will address me with a due respect and follow each and every one of my instructions to the letter. No pun intended. Are we understood, Kubo? Of course we are. Now, allow me to explain your duties. When you see me floating about in the vicinity of where we now stand, you may take this as a sign I have one or more letters that I cannot be bothered... Uh, that I have deemed suitable for your training. Approach me and declare your readiness for the task, and I will int instruct one of set letters to you, along with directions for delivery. And so your journey begins, Koopo. Mind you, until you prove yourself, I will be overseeing all your deliveries to ensure that you do not shirk or slack your duty in your duties. Not that a dutiful delivery aura like you would even consider such a thing, yes? <laughs> Jesus. Moguls. They exist. <laughs> Alright, so now we have now unlocked... We've unlocked the career. <laughs> career unlocked? <laughs> you attain career level 1. You're now able to undertake delivery quests. To review available quests and accept assignments, speak with the deputy post mogul at the Octant. Upon accepting uh, the quest, you will be entrusted with a letter or package addressed to a prominent Eorzean, delivered with swiftness and accuracy, and earn a name for yourself as one of the most trusted careers in the realm. And there we go. So we now have... This is going to be a long line of quests, if I recall. Um, so we are going to do this like as a separate thing again. In any case, I think next episode we are going to go and do... Um, I'm going to try to do as many of the dungeons as I can. That are on... Like, that I can unlock in Mordona. It's going to be a lot of them, by the way. <laughs> Just be prepared. Um... And I think for the next couple of episodes, probably, we're just going to be spending our time doing dungeons for a little bit, just to, like, go away from the side quests for a tiny amount. And then when we are done with those, I will probably do the post Moogle thing. Then maybe Hildebrand. Um, and, uh, you know what? I think after I'm done with the dungeons, I'm going to unlock the crafters. The crafters and gatherers. Seems like a pretty good idea. That way I can work on it while I am doing other things. While I'm waiting for dungeons or doing anything else. Like Anyway. Goodbye. Pff, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Fed, by the way. And then goodbye. <laughs>